Okay, this particular video we're going to be looking at probability trees, but it's actually being given to you in a slightly different way. And basically what they're saying is this particular student has uh, seven tiles. He's got two tiles with the number one on them, three tiles with the number two on them, and two tiles with the number three on them. Okay, and he's put these tiles into a bag and then he's going to draw them out at random. Now, if you want to have a look at the actual question itself, please do visit the description underneath. It is a little bit complex, this particular question, but hopefully you'll be able to follow it through. The other thing I've done is I've drawn these, uh, what look like bird feet. Uh, this is a probability tree diagram, which we're going to be using as well. And that's just to answer the, uh, the two questions which I've written up on the board here. Okay, so the first one is, is it's a probability that both tiles will be drawn as one. Well, let's just have a look at the probability. So remember I was saying that you've got two picks. This is the first pick. So in other words, uh, this particular uh, chap puts all of these tiles into a bag and he's got numbers one, two and three of which out of the seven tiles he's got, he's got two out of the seven are number one, three out of the seven are number two, and two out of the seven are number three. So he's got seven tiles. If he picks one of them out at random, there's a two out of seven chance he's gonna pick a number one, Three out of seven is going to pick a number two. Two out of seven is going to pick a number three. But the point is, is that according to the question, he picks one and doesn't put it back in the bag. So therefore, the second time that he picks, there's now only six tiles left in the bag. And I do suggest that when you're doing these type of questions, that this is the way you do it. You make sure you fill in all of this detail because it'll just make your life a little bit easy when it comes to actually calculating it. Okay, so let's have a look at the second time he picks. Well, let's assume the first time he picked a number one, which means now there's only one of these two tiles left. But there are, however, three number twos and two number threes. Okay, let's look at the second one here. Well, this time, he picked a number two, so that means now there were three, there's now two, but there are still two number one tiles and still two number three tiles. Okay, I hope you're following this all right. The second, uh, the third time rather, he picks a number three, which means there were two, there's now one. Uh, there's still three number two tiles and still two number one tiles and that basically will complete the probability tree. Now you're going to need to do this for most of these questions so if you want to pause the video have a look at what I've done there also you can add a comment below and I'll always come back to you. Okay so we're in a position now that we can answer the question so let's have a look at the probability of both number one. Well what we're saying is is there was a two out of seven probability for the first pick for the second pick, there was a one out of six. So if we multiply those out, that means we get three out of 42. So that means that for every 42 times he does this, three times he's gonna pick a number one each time. Okay, I hope that's all right for you. Uh, let's have a look at the second one, and it's slightly more difficult, but nah, it's okay, providing you kind of understand the English. So what they're saying is the probability of the second number, the second time he picks, is greater than the first number. Well, let's have a look at that. The only ones we're interested in is going to be this second one here, which is where he picks a one the first time round, and then a two the second time round. So that's two over seven times three over six. So that's the first time where he picks a one and then a two. Okay, also we're interested in one and three. So that's gonna be one and three. I hope you can see this okay on the video. And that's gonna be two out of seven again, multiplied by three is two out of six. So let's just calculate those. So that's six over 42, and that one is gonna be four over 42. And then the final one, I think, is where he picks a two 
the first time round, and then the second time round he picks a three. So the probability of a two and then a three is going to be three over seven multiplied by two over six. And that's going to be three times two is six and over 42. OK, so those are the probabilities individually for each of those. And then to work out the overall probability, we simply add them together. So that's going to be 6 add 4 is 10 plus 6. So that's going to be 16 over 42 for the total probability. Or we can actually reduce that, as we should always do with fractions, and we're going to make that 8 over 21. So I hope that's OK for you. It does take a little bit of time to kind of work through the English, but please do uh, have a look at the link through to the probability questions. Add a comment, like, subscribe to the site. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.